Well, early this morning, residents of a neighborhood on the peninsula woke up to a frightening scene right in their own front yard. A deadly fight playing out between two mountain lions, all caught on camera. More now from KTVU's Zach Sauce in Belmont. It was just after two in the morning along this quiet street in Belmont when a doorbell camera picked up this series of startling growls and roars. It makes us nervous, very nervous. Noises most people are only used to hearing in a nature documentary echoing down Hastings Drive Wednesday as two mountain lions battled it out, one eventually killing the other. A mountain lion dragging another mountain lion? Oh my goodness. Video showing the animal dragging its kill across the street to a neighbor's doorstep. Just keep your head on a swivel. What Kevin Stanford, part of the area's neighborhood watch, has been advising folks to do since game wardens removed the dead mountain lion. I'm hoping I don't find it, but if I do, you know, we, our PD is really, really good and they'll just respond super duper fast. So. Police who are urging neighbors to be cautious, but not everyone unnerved by the brawl. Oh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's not just one, it's two, and they were fighting. Wild animals are part of life in this area. Still, he plans to take a few more precautions. In the evenings when we go out for walks, I think you just have to be more careful. Neighbors being advised not to leave their pets or small children unattended. Mountain lions? No, I'm going home to warn my whole family. A mountain lion fight? Well, shocking in these parts, apparently not entirely rare. It's kind of mountain lions being mountain lions. Tiffany Yap, a wildlife expert at the Center for Biological Diversity. It is a common occurrence for, you know, um, mountain lions to kill each other over protecting territory. I think sometimes it becomes a greater occurrence when um, they're boxed in and, and, and their habitat is limited. Yap says mountain lions are largely solitary creatures who avoid humans. They are important for a lot of other species and a lot of biodiversity throughout California. But back in the neighborhood, Stanford says he'll be keeping up his patrols to provide neighbors peace of mind. I haven't picked up any tracks yet to kind of see what direction it took off in or what direction it came in. So that's kind of the sort of the puzzle to try to put together now. And so far, California Fish and Wildlife saying it's found no direct evidence that this mountain lion is a threat to humans. Still, they're urging people in the area to remove any sources of food, water that might attract deer to their property, a source of food for mountain lions. In Belmont, Zach Sauce, KTVU, Fox 2 News.